Thanks for joining me for another Airbrush Asylum video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to airbrush a space scene using this template by Airshot Stencils. Let's get into this tutorial video right now. Okay, so starting with a canvas that's already been based in black, what I wanna do is I'm going to spatter in some stars. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. You can kink your airline, that'll cause the airbrush to spatter. But I like to use like a little paddle pop stick or anything that's like a, a timber sort of surface and you angle the airbrush down onto that. And then the further back you go, the larger the spatters, the further up the front of that uh, little, what I call spatter tool, the uh, smaller the spatters. So I wanna create a starry background. So let's go ahead and do that now. So using the spatter tool, I'm just gonna build up all different sizes. You can see I do have a little bit of control. Now obviously I'm gonna put planets and stuff in here as well but I'm not too worried if those spatters land in those areas where I'm gonna do planets because I'm gonna use opaque white to firstly build the foundation of the painting, get in all my key areas, then I'll tint it a little bit with some uh, color and then go back in and shade and highlight. So I'm pretty happy with that so far. That's given me a nice basis to start with. Okay, so just a quick close up and you can see all those spatters creating the many, many stars in our space scene. Okay, so now continuing on, I wanna utilize the template now and I'm gonna to start to build up a bit of a section in this area here using the edge of that template just to create some sharp edges. Don't stress, it's not gonna remain like this. This is just the initial sketching. May look a bit funny to start with. You can also lift your template to do a softer impression or lay it flat. Not going for anything specific. Just wanna build up a bit of a spacey feel. And we'll bring it down and let it join up here. I'm just gonna keep building with that template just to make some of my own little shapes and to pull out some of those brighter areas. And you can see I'm starting to get that sense of depth. In these bits here, I'm just gonna lift that template up and do a softer impression. All right. And you can also move it. That's gonna help to um, give you that softer edge as well. But that's then giving me a bit of depth. And then I'm gonna start freehanding as well. So I'm just using Trident White to do this. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start freehanding. Just to tie it all in. I'm gonna lay some color on top of this. You can also experiment by using a bit of say, paper towel, scrunching it up like so. And just spraying around the edge of that and that's also going to give you different patterns if you don't use it scrunched and you tear it like so then you got yourself another little loose mask that you can hold up in sections and build a bit more texture so that's the beauty of space you can just go for it just working this out as i go get yourself a reference image if you like I want to build up a variety of strengths in the tone by just using my white. And you can see how that looks now totally different because I've utilized template as well as freehand airbrushing. And if you've seen my videos before, you know that that's how I like to paint. I'm just sort of spitting it, like just pulling back a lot heavier at the moment, just to deliberately get some uh, brighter sections. So just if you watch my trigger finger, it's just going back and forth, back and forth, kind of shaking the airbrush deliberately so that it kind of just moves around and doesn't give me a repetitive pattern. I don't want this to look too perfect. You can have some real bright glow coming from these areas 
and just suggesting that that's coming through, giving you that 3D effect. Again with white, don't try and build it all in one hit, so you don't want to be up close and just pull back too hard because you're going to get a spider and you, you don't want to flood the surface. I'll show you how to fix that in a minute. So you, you're better off just letting it build. So we're going to need to let that dry before I can attack that section. You don't necessarily have to do this on a canvas either. You can um, replicate this design and methods, like you can make up your own design by utilizing these methods, but um, you can use it on any particular application and or surface. All right, I'm gonna to start to layer over this now, and you can see it's gonna to start to disappear. So I'm gradually building a highlight over that. Because the white is opaque, it will eliminate it. Come back in and brighten up a couple of other little bits and pieces. You can also grab your template again and hit some of those edges if you want them brighter. Just a quick way to get a sense of depth and to build that brighter tone instantly. And another little trick is if I use that where my little spider section was, you can see by using the template, it shifts your eye onto those, those um, sharp edges of the template and takes them away from the highlight stuff up. So it's just a quick way to fix it. Brighten this up a little bit more. Want that center section to be bright. And then sort of tapering off around it. Then I'll bring color in. Pretty happy with that. So while I've got my white, I wanna add in some of these planets. So I'm not gonna go for the perfect circle, I'm gonna go for this uneven look. Okay, so for the purpose of the tutorial look, I'll, I'll do one with the uneven look, and then I'll do the smaller one as a perfect circle, and I'll use two different um, ones of these to texture it. Now you can see these uh, little stars that are cut out. These are actually registration marks, so you can utilize them if you like. I'm not gonna bother. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep up my template so that I can use the uneven larger version and the smaller even version. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so in order to prep up the template, I'm gonna grab some masking tape and just mask up around the ones that I wanna use. Essentially getting rid of that little starburst. And then we'll go the larger, this larger one as well. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you didn't do this and you got a bit of overspray, it is black, you could just re-black around it. It's quite forgiving doing space. And I'll cut up some little paper masks as well, just so that we can block off the outside area a little bit more. You wanna make sure to block off anything nearby that you don't want. And I mean, you could also utilize those registration marks as starburst if you like. So I think I'm gonna use this pattern for the perfect circle and this more uneven pattern for the, the rougher looking uneven planet. So let's go ahead and get that prepped. Be careful not to go over a certain section that you want to actually utilize. Okay, so that'll do. We're ready to rock. I might even block this off. Actually, I will, just to be safe. Okay, so we'll start with the smaller one. Begin with our white. And I'm just going to use my fingers to hold that template into place and build up around it like so. 
should be left with that. And then using our black, you don't have to use black, but I'm gonna use it for this video. Keep it simple, just make sure that's dry. Now keep in mind our light source is here. I'm going to firstly add in the texture so I can still see through the template enough to know where to put this. You don't have to go solid black with it. I'm just gonna go lightly and then I might do some uneven sort of spray in there to break it up. Give myself some different effects. Take that off and have a look. We're getting a bit of a pattern, which is cool and really easy to achieve. I might also just use this a little bit more to give the whole planet a bit more pattern. So moving along in that section, there's a bit here. Again, don't stress about your overspray because you're working on a black surface, which is the beauty of this. and I'll fix all the highlights and that in a minute. You can also grab yourself another texture template if you need to. So what I wanna do now is because my light source is up here, I'm going to shade down here. So you could get your template, line it back up and do that, but I'll show you how to do it freehand. Just paint on, paint off. see that's already giving the planet a lot more depth. So now I want to add in some highlights. So I basically want to shape all of the planets as if this is the only tone I'm using and then I'll bring my color in over the top. So now again as you know I like to mix it up with some freehand. So using my white I'm going to brighten up this top section but not just spray directly over it. I'm going to build that texture. Now you could grab the uh, template again as well if you like. I'm just going to go ahead and mix it up with some freehand. Again I think this provides the best form of contrast and it won't be the last highlight that I do. Once I add my colouring I'll go back over it to really brighten some of these up. The beauty of the colour is it's going to tint the whole planet and the, the white highlight, so I'm going to add another layer of depth. So now the uneven looking planet, same deal, goes solid right around. with that. See I've got a bit of a dodgy edge there but that's okay we can fix that up. I'm going to go ahead now and use this part of the template to add that texture in. Same deal, bit of a light spray and then I'll go heavier in certain areas. You know what for the purpose of the uh, video I'll do this one solid almost just so you can see a different way of doing it. So you can see that one looks kind of weird at the moment, but we'll get it looking cool in a minute. I'm gonna add in a little bit more texture. A couple of them there. I'll probably leave it at that because most of this will be in shadow anyway. And while I've got the airbrush, I'll just quickly clean up around the edge. Now, this is an uneven planet, as you know, from what I started with so I'll just clean it up and it can be doesn't have to be a perfect circle okay so now I'll freehand in with some black as well just to change some of these markings if you want to bulk up an area then you just do that and then you can join it up with something else. Again experiment. Now I want to do my shadow. 
the same thing as before. I want that to almost disappear away. Like so. And then we've got our starting point. Now, I'm gonna to start to do the highlights. Now I'm gonna bring some highlights right in this bit to break it up. See how much that's changing it already. Join that up. Any piece that you want super bright, just build that up. Do a few little ones down there, but you can see I'm not going as bright. Do the same here. I've got the white, I'll just, I can still tone back over it, so adding a little couple of highlights here and there is not going to hurt. So I definitely do prefer the mix of the light and dark as opposed to the really dark, but I wanted to show you the different effect by doing one or the other. So obviously you can keep on going with more and more planets. This will do for the moment. Um, I'm going to do some glowing stars and different size ones by doing just little fine dots and then pulling my airbrush away the surface. I'm just randomly adding these in. Again, random is good. Starting to come to life. Okay, so I feel like it needs just something in here. I'm just gonna use a mixing cup, anything with a, uh, obviously a round shape to it. What I'm gonna do is because I've already got stars there, I'm gonna need to eliminate them for this particular one. So I'm just gonna lightly spray around this and I can see where I wanna go with it. And then using, switching back to my black, I'm going to go ahead and just eliminate that. Right, like so it doesn't matter if you get a little bit of overspray, that's fine. Again, the black's opaque, so it'll just get rid of those stars in no time. And let that dry off. Now that that's dry, I'm going to reline up the cup. You can come in a little bit or oh, I should be able to just hit it straight on there. And then I want to go around the edge. So this has effectively become a positive mask. So masking off a positive section. So it's going to leave that inner part black like so. Quick and easy to do. And then I'm going to just do a dot highlight on the edge. So it looks like we've got a bit of a glow emerging from the back of that planet. And then follow the highlight around a little bit with a bit of a dagger stroke. And just adds a little bit of an extra effect and fills up that space. So play around with that as well. You could also then turn it into a full on planet and render it, but I'm not gonna do that for the purpose of this video. Okay, so now that I've got the basis in place, I wanna come in with some color. First tone I'm gonna use is a blue, and I'm mixing this with transparent base. I'm just gonna start filling in this area here, and also spray over some of those darker areas, so that's fine. Just gonna add in a bit of color. See how easy this is just to add it in. Focus more on that center section. You'll see why in a minute. Now, depending on what paint you're using, you may not need to use transparent base. I just find with the Trident paints, they are heavily pigmented. So, 
I feel that by adding the transparent base it just um, allows them to be obviously more transparent and therefore not eliminating any of my underlying detail. While I've got this tone, I'm also going to just add a little bit onto the planets. Just like so, and then feather it out, like so, feather it out. I'll come in with my next tone. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in a bit more color. This time I'm using red violet. Again, mixed with uh, transparent base and reducer. And I'm also gonna run this into the center blue sections. If this is the first time watching one of our videos, then welcome. For all of our regular viewers, welcome back. I do hope that you're enjoying this video tutorial so far. If you are, by all means, give it the thumbs up, share it out, and let's build this airbrushing community together. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Tap on that bell icon, and that will notify you every time I put out new content. So just getting a bit more coverage with that red violet, adding it in those some of those center sections as well. Just break it up. Might look a bit messy at the moment, but it'll all come together in a minute. Once we go back and re-highlight. Now I'm gonna add this more so in the center part here so that I've got that blue going into red violet and then back into the black on the planet. Again I'm gonna render back over this so it's not going to be the final tone, but just using those colors to show you how to render the planets. Okay, so I'm going to come in now as well with some violet. Again, mixed with transparent base. And deepen some of that stuff in the center. Also adding violet to this lower part of the planet. Okay, so now it's time to rework in these highlights. So you can go back and grab the template if you like. Just picking up on those edge highlights, not going overboard, just building it slowly. You can always come back in and brighten sections up. Do some more dot highlights as well. Break it up a little bit. Just uh, joining up some of these areas as I want this to be the brighter 
part of it. Almost done with this and then I'll move on to the planets. Before we move on to the planets, another thing you can do to build a bit more contrast is come back in with your black and do that freehand because that's going to show up now because you've got that uh, overspray tinting it. So you can bring that in in certain areas. Or eliminate something that you're not too happy with. You don't want to go too crazy with it, just a little bit. If you think it needs it. I could have probably left it, but I'm doing this to just show you guys, give you an example of how that looks. Same deal, start with that edge first, the edge that's brightest, and building that up. Again, if you want to keep it super sharp, then you can definitely grab your template. This one I'm not going to go as crazy with the texturing. This one can be a bit more suggestive. I'll leave it at that. Okay, so taking a closer look at the completed artwork. See those tones in there with the highlight and the edge highlighting. So this is just a nice and easy space scene to have a go at. If you want to further your learning, then check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. Until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.